and welcome to Museum Mornings. My name is Eliana and I am a learning officer at the Jewish Museum. Today you are joining us for a special Museum Mornings all about Mitzvah Day, which is officially next Sunday, the 20th of November. Mitzvah Day is all about taking part in community volunteering, social action and acts of kindness by dedicating our time on this day. We will be hosting a family festival next Sunday from 2 to 4.30 p.m. here at the Jewish Museum to celebrate Mitzvah Day. And the museum will be free entry during these times. Now, as Mitzvah Day is also on the last day of Interfaith Week, we will be partnering with Westminster Abbey, St. Paul's Cathedral, the Museum of Methodism and PJ Library. Do come and join us and take part in exciting baking sessions, arts and crafts and storytelling. Now today we are going to explore an object from our collection connected to the theme of Mitzvah Day. And then I have an activity that you can do based on this theme. So we're going to have a, a look at the object to start us off. So um, I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so we're going to start by having a close look at this object. I will ask some prompt questions to help us explore the object together. If you are watching this video with someone, you are welcome to discuss the answers with them or comment on the video in the comment section. So look very closely at the object. What do you see? What words do you see? What themes, ideas, messages do you see? What images can you see? What shapes and symbols do you see? What kind of object do you think this is? Now I can see images of people standing and sitting together to pose for the photos. It says Mitzvah Day 2015 over the images of the people. Perhaps the images are of people taking part in Mitzvah Day together. At the top of the object, I can see it says Kol India in big writing with the symbol of the Star of David in the middle. This might tell me that this object is connected to the Jewish community in India. Then in smaller writing, we can see it says a community magazine of life, story and culture. This tells us that the object is a front cover of a magazine that connects the Jewish community in India. This magazine features news of a Mitzvah Day event held by the B'nai community of Mumbai, India. The words underneath the photograph says doing our part to repair the world. Repairing the world is an idea in Judaism, which we call in Hebrew, tikkun olam. There are many ways to take part in the idea of tikkun olam, such as being kind to everybody, especially strangers, giving to charity and taking part in social action, which can be anything from protesting for something you believe in or against something you don't believe in, donating your old clothes to those in need, to volunteering at or donating to a food bank. Can you think of the last time you took part in Tikkun Olam? 
To help us dedicate time every year to Tikkun Olam and acts of kindness, the organisation called Mitzvah Day organise a day to come together with other communities of different faiths. Different faiths. Mitzvah Day always falls on Interfaith Week here in the UK. And we come together and make a difference to our world and make it a better place. The Hebrew word mitzvah means commandment, like the 613 commandments from the Torah scroll that tell Jewish people how to live their lives. Mitzvah can also mean a good deed or an act of kindness. For example, small things like cheering up your friend or bigger things like visiting someone in hospital. This year, as I mentioned earlier, Mix for Day is next Sunday, the 20th of November. On this day, over 40,000 people from different countries all around the world will take part in social action projects in their communities. Different projects might be visiting care homes, eco projects such as tree planting and litter picks, writing letters of appreciation to hospital workers and making dog toys for animal rescue centers and many, many more as well. There are so many different ways to get involved. If you are interested, please check out the Mitzvah Day website. I will also put the link in the description of this video. Here at the Jewish Museum, as I mentioned earlier, we will be hosting a family festival next Sunday. The timings are 2 to 4.30 p.m. And during this time, the museum will be free entry. We're going to be celebrating Mitzvah Day. Now, as Mitzvah Day is also on the last week of Interfaith Week, sorry, Mitzvah Day is the last day of Interfaith Week, we will be partnering with Westminster Abbey, St Paul's Cathedral, Museum of Methodism, and also PJ Library as well. Please do come and join us and take part in exciting baking sessions, arts and crafts, and storytelling. Now, in the week leading up to Mitzvah Day, let's see how many small acts of kindness and good deeds you can do. Maybe see if you can do at least one every day. This can be as simple as asking your friends and family if they are okay, especially if they ever look a little sad. It can be helping out with the chores at home, like laying the table for dinner or tidying your room. It can be helping the environment, so making sure to recycle, making sure not to litter, making sure to turn off the lights when you leave a room. Every time you perform an act of kindness, mm -hmm. you can write it down and draw it on an A4 sheet of paper. And at the end of the week, you will end up with a comic strip or a collage of kindness. The great thing about acts of kindness is even if they are small, if we all aim to do them together, we can make a big difference. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you next week at the museum at 2 p.m. Bye for now.